And hello everybody, welcome to the POR WC Reese's Rally Car Series as we prepare for the first race of the playoffs, race number one of five. This is actually race number 11 of 15, but since we're basically concentrating on the fact that this is indeed the playoffs, this is pretty much being considered a uh you know, this has been basically being considered a playoff race, playoff race number one of five. On the pole for this race, and by the way, we are at Fuji Speedway. This is a very tricky road course, but the big thing about it that really I think is going to play into who's going to end up winning this race is it has a front straightaway, which to me, I haven't measured it or anything, but it's almost a whole mile long, because this is a two and a half mile racetrack, and it's almost a mile long. It's about half a mile from the final turn down to the start finish line, because start finish line is right in the middle there. But if you take from the final turn down to turn one, that whole entire front straightaway, it's about two, uh, it's about nearly a whole mile long. Barney Ward's going to be on the pole for this race. Alongside of him is going to be Jason Marshall. Both of them uh, fairly close to being able to get in to the chase. I'm going to call it the chase or the playoffs all the time. I'm probably going to keep switching back and forth, so I beg your indulgence on that, but hopefully you're going to understand what I mean. But uh, Barney Ward was pretty close, but he ended up getting wrecked on the very last lap of the last chance qualifying race. Jason Marshall ended up getting spun out at some point, so... Both of them, they're just trying to continue on this season and maybe pick up their first wins of the season or something because right now they are out of competition to being the champion for the PORWC Reese's Rally Car Series. Closest chase contender we have to the front is right there in fourth place, that yellow card, that's Ryan Juke, and we're going to actually minimize down this screen so that way we can see where our championship contenders are going to start. So you see Ryan Juke, he'll start in fourth place. Then you have to go quite a ways down before you find Aaron Williams, who's going to be starting this race in 14th place. Red Bell is behind him in 15th. Taylor Mitchell's going to start this race in 17th. Dylan Poteet in 19th. Jake Cole is going to start in 21st. Sean Henley in 22nd. The points leader with two wins this season, Nicole Sanchez, will start in 24th. Melissa Anderson will be 25th. Our last chance qualifying race winner, Trent Dunham, he'll start this race in 27th place. And I believe, oh, then, then 29th is where Adam Chambers will start this race as well. So, looks like the only driver, really, that has a good qualifying spot is Ryan Juke in that fourth position. So, we'll have to keep our eyes on this. This could end up playing out big time into the playoffs, and we're going to find out all that stuff here today. Now, this racetrack, let's, let's talk a little bit about Fuji Speedway. I mentioned about the front straightaway. It's basically not that tricky of a course. It's a pretty wide course. You can see as they're parked here waiting to be able to roll off to complete their pace lap, you can see they can go about four wide down the, this straightaway here and make it work. There's not that much of a limited space for drivers to be able to race. However, going four wide into the turns, I'm not so sure about that. I mean, the track basically all the way around, though, is about that wide in both the front straightaways and the turns. Now, basically, the front straightaway, that's for drivers to be able to concentrate on speed because there's no turning, no nothing. It's just flat-out straight racing, and these drivers will be able to try and crank it up and make passes that way. The second half of the course, from turn one all the way over to, I think it's turn eight, they are going to have to conquer several different turns, and there's especially one turn that's going to be very difficult, which is a sharp left-hand turn into, I think it's turn six, that these drivers are going to have to conquer. I think that's going to be the danger zone for these drivers during the course of the day. Also, don't count out turn one, because they're going to be having a lot of speed heading into that turn. They're really going to have to slam on the brakes in order to make sure they don't wreck down there or slide off the road course. All right, we are moments away from starting off the first chase race of the season. These cars will roll off. Looks like everybody's going to be okay for the start here which is a good thing. And we'll get ready to put them under the green flag in just a moment, but here's the starting lineup for today's race at Fuji Speedway.
Five laps doesn't seem like much. But green flag is out, and here we go. This doesn't seem like much with five laps, but if you uh, actually knew just how long this racetrack is, which you will know in just a moment. Oh, the three wide back there with the championship contender, Ryan Juke. And somehow they're making it work, though. Look at this. Look at all fools four wide back there. Aaron Williams tried to make it four wide as it's still side by side for the lead. Jason Marshall on the high side. He'll take the top spot. Marshall to the lead. Battle between Jake Baskager and Barney Ward now for second. Then it's Ryan Juke, championship contender, side by side with Tim Walsh. And look at Aaron Williams, three wide there. Awfully close racing, but they're keeping it clean as Jason Marshall continues to lead the way. Marshall to the lead. Looks like Barney Ward, he will take a troll of second. Well, nope, here comes Jake Baskinger back to the inside. Battling hard there for that second position. Baskinger, will he clear him this time? I think he could. I think Baskinger could clear Barney Ward. He's trying to get up right in front of him, and I think he has. Yes, Baskinger's cleared Barney Ward. Barney Ward, the pole sitter, back to third. Whoa, Ryan Juke. Look out. Whoa, Juke's in the dirt. Juke's in the dirt, and he's losing ground. Aaron Williams has gotten by him. Juke is losing ground. He cross You see the dust back there? That was Ryan Juke. As he crosses the stripe this time in 16th, he was third last time by. Where's Aaron Williams? I just saw him. There he is. He's now up to 7th place in the 40. And there's Sean Henley, another championship contender, now up to 9th. As back up front, Jason Marshall, he's getting a challenge now. It's going to be in the form of Jake Baskinger. Front 5 or single file? Well, they were. Now here comes Jack Richards to the inside. He's looking for his second win in a row. He won the last points event at Langhorn. He's going to the inside now of Lewis Gordon. That's for position number five. or Yes, it is for position number five. And look at this now. He loses him, and Aaron Williams is going to try and take position number six now. As he's trying to close in. Sean Henley, he's going to try rim riding around the high side in order to catch up to Sam Young for position number eight. Where are some of our other championship contenders? Not seeing them up here at the front at all. Let's see if we can find them. There's Jake Cole. He's currently listed back in 21st. Red Bell back in 22nd. Trent Dunham 23rd, 24th. Nicole Sanchez, Trailer Mitchell in 25th. You got a whole clump of them back here. Also right there, add to that list, Adam Chambers. He's back in the 29th position. And then you got these guys who really need to step it up. Dylan Poteet back in 31st. Alyssa Anderson in 33rd. As the battle's on for the lead. Baskinger to the inside of Jason Marshall. Baskinger took over that ride for Pichu after Pichu was banned. Could not get it into the last chance qualifying race victory lane. He's trying to win a race though as he's taking the lead. Whoa, Barney Ward nearly turned. Jason Marshall back there. That was close. And here comes Tim Walsh into the picture. As he's going to battle side by side with Barney Ward. That's for position number three. But the leader now is Jake Baskinger. We're on lap three of five. This race is nearly over. Side by side for third. Now it's going to be Barney Ward taking over that spot. Tim Walsh will have to settle for fourth. Lewis Gordon up there now in fifth. Jack Richards sixth. And then your first championship contender in Aaron Williams in the seventh position. Where's Henley? Yep, he's still up in ninth place behind Sam Young. And then there's Justin Acosta in the top ten, but... Whoa, someone else hit the dust back there. Who was that? I think it was Alyssa Anderson. I know the championship contender gets caught off that turn. And that was the final turn. That was Alyssa Anderson who got caught up in that. Oh, boy, that's not going to be a good points day for her. Whoa, here comes a battle for the lead again. Marshall gets a run. Two laps to go, by the way. Jake Baskinger going to keep the lead, though. Jason Marshall all over him. Will he have enough time to put a move on Jake Baskinger? If Jake Baskinger wins, it would be the second time that 29 car has been to Victory Lane. It went to Victory Lane earlier on this season with Michael Dawson, or with Alexander Dawson, rather. Then the ride moved over to Pichu, London. 
or to Pichu, and now it's moved over to Jake Basker. It'd be the second time with the second driver that 29 cars bend to victory lane. I see Aaron Williams. He's making strides up towards the front now. He's battling for sixth place for with Jack Richards. Every position counts in this chase for the championship, and Williams knows that better than anybody. He's to the inside, and he takes the sixth position. Jack Richards not going to force the issue, as Sean Henley is the next closest competitor. He's up to ninth. Let's see if anybody else has made any strides for these other championship contenders. Wow, no. Jake Cole, he's still in 20, uh, 21st. Red Bell 22nd. Somebody else got the, dust, the dirt back there. White flag in the air. White flag is out, and they're still side-by-side. Side. Jason Marshall and Jake Baskinger. Marshall gets a run to the inside, but Baskinger will try and battle back here in this next turn, which is a left-hand turn, I believe. Here we go. Baskinger tries to get the upper hand. No! Jason Marshall is by for the lead. Could it be a last lap pass? Marshall leads. Now Barney Ward starts to close in for second. He's all over the back bumper of Baskinger, but I don't think we've heard the last of Baskinger yet as he will try and close back in on the back bumper of Jason Marshall. Marshall looking for his first win of the season, but Baskinger starting to close up the gap again. Can Baskinger have enough time? Here comes Baskinger trying to close in. He's still got two or three car lengths to make up, as it's going to be Jason Marshall coming off what I believe is the final turn here. Jason Marshall. Is he going to be able to do it? Yes, I think he will. Jason Marshall off the final turn. Will hit the front straightaway. No challenge for Jason Marshall. And Marshall in the three will go to victory lane as he's going to come down. But here comes Basketger. Not enough time. Jason Marshall wins at Fuji Speedway. What a race. And Baskinger nearly timed it perfectly. Look at him go to the inside here. He, he was trying there, and he just didn't have enough time. But Baskinger, a good second-place finish. Barney Ward finally gets another top five. It's been a long time for that car. He's hit a string of hard luck for the last three weeks. Tim Walsh, the same thing. He's going to get a nice top, uh, top five finish in fourth. And fifth place, how about Lewis Gordon? But look at Aaron Williams and Sean Henley. Williams will finish in 6th. Henley will finish in ninth. Those two pretty doggone consistent. As Jason Marshall picks up his first win of the season. And he'll go to victory lane. Let's take a look now at the official running order. And try and find out where some of our other championship runners were running. We went down as far as Henley. Justin Acosta gets 10th. But then you got to go a long ways down before you find Jake Cole in the 20th position, Red Bell in 21st, Nicole Sanchez in 23rd, Trent Dunham 24th, Adam Chambers 25th, Taylor Mitchell in 27th. And then, of course, we know about, uh, well, first we'll, we'll have uh, Dylan Pote, 31st, not a good run for him. And then a long ways down, 35th place, that's where Alyssa Anderson finished after she got caught up in that dirt. Off the final turn, she did manage to pass John Stewart for position, but tough break for a lot of these drivers. Basically, the only two that really did well today were Aaron Williams and Sean Henley. How's that going to play out into the championship standings? We're going to find out, though, as we hope to see you next time for our second of five playoff races. Jason Marshall wins the race, and we may have a new points leader in the championship standings. See you guys later. Here comes the standings, heading into next week's race. You've been watching the PRWC Reese's Rally Car Series on the NNS Sports Channel.